Yo, what is going on everyone? It is Memory here. We are back for some more JoJo Part 6 Stone Ocean, man. We're going to be watching two episodes in this video, episodes three and four. I think I actually did mention it in my previous video. It only makes sense. It, just looking at the episode titles, it seems like it's a two-parter. So I figured why not have both episodes in one video. But of course, we're going to be starting with episode three. Previous episode, I really enjoyed what we had with it. Uh, Gwes's introduction was certainly something. And her stand. Uh, I said I wasn't a huge fan. I'm not saying it's bad, but I'm just not like too crazy on the general design itself with Goo Goo Dolls. But the way it actually works, I thought was really cool. I really did like that uh, about it. But with Jolene's stand, uh, on the other hand, Stone Free, it has it just all going on, at least in my opinion. And we're just getting started. So we're obviously going to continue to see more. Uh, but yeah, I'm really curious, really excited as well, of course, to see what we're going to have with episode three and episode four uh, but first we're starting with episode three so yeah we're gonna hop into it in three two one go little recap here which Hermes was the one who sold the the pennant or whatever to Gwes or whatever right like hell nah just a little recap here but you really saw it come out manifest in the at the end of the previous episode. Dude, that was, that was crazy. I'll become free from this ocean of stones. Love it. Love it. All right, episode three, The Visitor. When unraveled, this thread can reach for, as we've saw already. Comes less powerful. Is that as the further it goes out? When it bundles, it hardens. I like how they're going into the specifics here eventually probably but not anytime soon okay i, I was noticing that it was like the stone in its hand dude the design is just so clean not yet yeah <laughs> eventually probably gonna need the help of some others too right Oh, she was on the phone? Oh, I thought I was like, I didn't see a phone. This chick was on the phone. She's trying to finesse you, Jolene. Don't do it. She might have to find out the hard way. She she about to do it. You just got finessed. She probably about to just leave. Oh, she actually did put it in there. Yo, what's your problem? She was on the phone for 30 minutes. She's been waiting here for 30 minutes. Yeah, you just came out of nowhere. Got the reserve. But you're learning real quick. These are vets. A month in advance? That's how things are here, I guess. This is how it is. That's why Hermes was saying money was going to be really important uh, here. Uh. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> She's probably just learned that, yeah. Yes, she did. Quest is actually trying to help her, though, here. No. I mean, a dollar could... That one dollar could be, like, a hundred to them. Right. Lending or borrowing money between inmates. Money's a big... Obviously, a big thing just in general, but here, especially. You fail to get the dollar back. What the? He just, she just forked over like $40 right there. She couldn't even get her dollar back. Like, But Jolene's not going to let them just beat up on her like this. But obviously, char certain characters are different. I kind of feel bad for that girl. Your mind and body, the physical and mental 
harassment. That's how it started for her, too. Yeah, Gwen's trying to look out for you, trying to help you here, actually. It's just crazy, though, because after everything we had in the previous episode, which, I mean, Gwen was trying to get it to where they could escape, right? But still, she was just something else. I mean, she is something else in general. Uh, you know what I'm here for. You probably know what I'm here for. Yeah. All in your head. Like, I remember it, just not now. It's at some point. Uh, Jol Jolie not going to put up with this shit. Tight wad. <laughs> nah. Not gonna happen. Is her tone of voice is changing? Oh, are you pulling on her hair like that? You better chill, girl. You think you got her? You think you got her where you, where you want her? Nah. No way. Oh, oh, <laughs> she drugged that shit. <laughs> Look at her, bro. <laughs> Joke's on you. Joke's on you. <laughs> She's in there. Sorry. It's just funny. She, she got a book in his reading. Yeah, that's what you said. You said you'll pay me back later. That fucked her up. Oh, <laughs> she just started bleeding the way she opened the door. With interest. You should get in the hang of it pretty quickly. She's just holding the dollar, the ten dollars out here like that. Do 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 do. It's kind of giving this girl a little push. I like that. I like that a lot, actually, Jolene. Wait, did they all drink that shit? So that was the girl. Oh, yeah, that was the girl that, like, slapped her earlier or whatever. So she's like, oh, she's going to have to go to the bathroom next. So go get your shit back. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, the baseball kid. I remember this from the trailer. Yup, there he is. How's he got like a baseball jersey on and or did she was she just seeing shit? No, that definitely we just definitely just saw that kid. Like why is this kid here? You have a visitor. You must not meet him. You have a visitor, but you can't go to the visitation room. So it's gonna you're gonna meet well, I'm assuming you're, she's going to end up meeting this person. A terrible fate. The mysterious, like, dropping of the ball. <laughs> like, I leave you with this. Drop the ball. So this kid just, yeah, the kid's just sneaking in here. You're telling me nobody else, I mean, maybe the kid's just good at sneaking around. Nobody else saw. I guess he's not worried about the baseball or doesn't see it. Damn, right in the neck, though? Someone's coming, though. According to him. Oh, is this probably who? Yeah, this has to be it. Yo, this man is caked up. <laughs> this man is caked up. <laughs> I mean, uh, y'all could be however you want. I'm obviously I'm not judging anyone. I'm straight, but I mean this dude is caked up. <laughs> Whoever this is, what is going on with his eyes too? Of 
course, like some of the police or whatever are in with them, bribing them with money. <laughs> the zipper's in the back. <laughs> he don't give a fuck, apparently. The dude not even gonna, does the, does the dude not talk or something? I mean, you really had to, yeah, I get they have to do their job, but sometimes they're overstepping their, their boundaries. Someone's here to see you, a visitor. And the boy was saying, though, don't go to the visitation room, right? I think that's what he was saying. Thirty minutes, you're allowed to hold hands. No foreign languages. I, I guess some of those rules make sense. smoke oh is that the same boy he's really freaking out about this I mean something is going <laughs> the way he's just lurking though he has to be talking about that dude we saw it who had the fat ass <laughs> Yeah, but she has a visit. Okay, so there's there are two different visitors. If it's really her mom or someone else. What did he give her? It was like all blacked out. Bones. Does that have something maybe to do with his stand? Why it may help her or something? Bones. Okay. That's who the visitor was. Yo, my man just looking at the wall like this, bro. Joe Toro, I missed you, man. And this dude is like, fine wine. <laughs> Yeah, it's already helped her. I mean, this dude doesn't age. He literally doesn't. So it's like, he's the visitor, but then there's like another visitor, this other guy who potentially is like an antagonist or something. This is when they broke the news to, to the mom. And yeah, he, he hasn't been there, but oh, this drawing kind of interesting. Kind of zoned out a little bit, right? Oh, oh my God. Why'd you have to do that? Why'd she have to do that, though? Dude, the fit. Joe throws fit. It was not Romeo. John Golly A. That's who we just saw. Oh, he's in the men's prison. Okay. Veteran. Oh, a sniper. man was behind it all wait what 
This man's behind it all? From the prison. Wow. That's just so much for her to have to process at one moment right here. <laughs> Had to get back, Adam. <laughs> Hey, what is it? What, what is she have? A, or what, he, excuse me, John Golly. What, what does he have against her? What? what? Target was you all along. That makes sense because of me, because of Johto. Probably for Dio. Probably for Dio, right? If he's talking about this, like it goes way back, he, he, he has to be doing this for Dio, this John Golly guy. Yep. Oh my God. Taking us back. He's a pawn of the enemy, a uh, Dio worshiper. you thought yeah that's not important just know you're being targeted so that's what that was about that's what this is it seemed like she realized though an episode or two ago that he did this to help her, to protect her, obviously. But now she's coming more to an understanding of, of what is going on and what this is. Like her stand and all that. Yeah, they've been putting a lot of emphasis on that on the dripping, like the, the water or whatever. I just thought that was a little side thing, but no, there's definitely something going on with that. Damn. The handcuffs. Oh, they're gone. Yo, when did that happen? That just happened at that point? But you know, it's probably this John Golly guy. But the setup here, different brand of cigarettes. The guard didn't approach the table. And that thing with Jolene. Oh, he's a sniper. Star Platinum. The first time we see it in this part. Yeah, this, this comes in handy. Of, of course, we saw it come in handy many times. Oh, that camera, that camera movement. I like that. Stone free. Stone free. Now, did it, it seems like it still penetrated her, though, but maybe not as, like, in, uh, inflicting. It still looks like it's pretty bad, but... It would have been more fatal if stone free didn't do that or something. Trying to break down what's going on here. Sniper premium bullet. So it's definitely John Golly. It, we figured. I shot him here. <laughs> and he's in the men's prison. Yeah, you'd be surprised. Yeah. <laughs> what, what people could do to sneak stuff into airports. It's kind of scary to think about. Prisons, you, you name it. If he had a stand, which his stand probably complements his sniping ability. Yeah. Of course. Of course. But his stand helps his sniping ability. That's his stand. It's an interesting looking stand, a kind of contraption or whatever. And it's off. Like it was like reacting to something. It just moves so suddenly. The way it moves is kind of interesting. I was just going to try and catch it. The way it's moving, though, is very interesting because it was like on just one simple path before. And then when Jolene did that, it started like 
<laughs> moving around to the thread, not the thread itself. Changing the air. It's like a, the the current or something. Aerodynamics. And that would maybe explain why they're putting so much emphasis on the the air vent or whatever, right? How can he shoot us from there? Yeah, that's that's definitely the, the problem. But the stand helping him. Jolie, he's just trying to help you. He's so worried about or him ordering her around. Like, who cares at this point right now? Now we don't got time to deal with you. Okay, well, I just reacted to that. Because it was stationary. Uh oh. Like, you're going to get sniped, bro. You're you going to get sniped. <laughs> he's so worried about... Him ordering her around. Oh, snipe. Oh, it like grazed Jotaro. Oh, <laughs> went right through the, the temple that... It seemed like it gra grazed Jotaro unless there was two shots. Oh, no. Jotaro. And they hit us with that. Good thing we could go right to the next episode, though, right? Okay. So, dealing, of course, with another stand user, but... With this stand user in particular, this John Golly guy, apparently, from what Jotaro was talking about, he's the one who's behind the, the whole setup, really, with uh, Jolene and why she even got here in the first place. So that's something pretty big. Uh, that come, of course, though, he's a freaking Dio worshiper, which it was cool to see Jotaro in this episode, I, I must say. Uh, Star Platinum, seeing that for the first time in this part, probably going to see a bit uh, more of that, of course. Like I said, it's a good thing I can... Go right into the next episode. I guess that's one of the good things with these sort of batch releases with cliffhangers like this. You can go right into the next episode. And usually at the end of each episode or each of my videos, if it's not a double like this one is, I'll talk, you know, quite a bit sometimes after the end of the episode. But this is a two-parter, so I'll save all the conversation and the stuff I want to talk about for the end of episode four. So yeah, we're gonna hop into episode four now. Let's get into it. Almost forgot, I gotta hit y'all with the countdown, of course, for this episode. So yeah, we're after like the recap, because there's recap at the beginning of this episode as well. We're gonna hop into it in three, two, one, go. Current situation, everyone in the room has literally been shot. Yeah. Jolene's I don't think was as bad, because of Stone Free. There's the stand, which we didn't get the name of it yet. I'm sure we'll get it sometime in this episode. Reads the airflow. Definitely a long range stand, of course. Remotely. You can shoot at that stand to reflect the bullet to his target. And pretty precisely as well. That's actually pretty cool. And that's how he's able to hit them from the, the men's prison. It's going to detect them in... They're a target at that point, yep. Exactly. Oh, that's getting worse. This may really come down to just Jolene if, if Jotaro's condition keeps getting worse. It's going to be up to Jolene, maybe by herself. It's like, what do we do? Jolene's using Stone Free. Oh, okay. Maybe, does she have a plan? Maybe she has a plan. What are you thinking? She seems like pretty determined or maybe she knows what she wants to do here. She has a plan. I guess we'll see. Here we go. Episode four, The Visitor Part Two. There he is. So we're probably maybe going to get his perspective right now or something. So that has to be, what else would it be? That has to be a sniper. How would you even think that or tell, like, the guard? Like, yeah, he has a sniper here. <laughs> or even think that was possible. Are we getting technical with it? I mean, it makes sense, especially with sniping, for him to probably be as precise as he is. He has to be like that. I mean, there's a lot that goes into sniping. 
this fly would be bugging the shit out of me. I would not be able to focus. Smooth catch. That's what it be. That's what it seems like. Flies do. They just fly around randomly. The wind is the fly's movement, and that's how his stand sort of moves, like a fly, essentially. Okay, just crush the fly, and you know how hard that is to do if you don't have like. I mean, even with a fly swatter, what? It's like with your hand or something, trying to smack a fly, it can be a bitch sometimes. But just to drop that bullet like that in its exact position, that's... Manhattan transfer. I think that's what he said. That's what it sounded like. Josta, Josta. <laughs> it's like, for Dio. For Dio. You'll paper rob me, the one who was my rock. Man, you think Dio really cared about you all like that? <laughs> I mean, the way he sees it, though, I, I mean, they, they Dio worshippers. We saw so many of those. Oh, okay, so this was Jolene's plan. This is what she did with Stone Free. That's actually smart. Yeah, look, it looks like it's going all haywire. Yeah, that's probably making it freak out. Stone Free! Let me see, stop real quick. It's evading every drop. And how many drops are there? It's evading every single one of them. Oh, okay. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> she said, fuck the lighter now. <laughs> it was a kind of a, a nice try for, for a plan, I would say. The boy again. Move the base of the pillar. Is there something under here? Or in, in her mind, Jolene has to be like, why? Like, this is weird. Like, this boy's just here. And should I believe this boy? But and she did it. <laughs> well, that's awfully convenient. What else does this boy know? Hey, this is a lead. I mean, they're kind of grasping at straws right now. And there goes the stand. <laughs> Jotaro was like, no, this is what it is. And she's like, no, this is what it is. The boy who just maybe risked his life a little bit to give you that info. She's saying, fuck that. <laughs> She's going to try and help the boy or save the boy. Yeah. Probably not just any ordinary boy. I mean, it's Jojo after all. It seems like he's going to be one of the more important characters. With desperation in his eyes. To help him. To save him. So this would probably be the safer option or route would be to just go down here with, with Jotaro, like he's saying. But <laughs> yada yada. What you gonna do? What, what you gotta what you gonna do, Jotaro? You you're gonna go with her. And you kinda have to, right, at this point. There's so many things that they have to worry about, though. Like the guards, and then the stand, and... He has, like, a whole system or something he has set up in here. To move around. That's what it seems like. And it just was not secured at all. Look, this man got a whole tunnel system or something. <laughs> he knew about the pillar. Like, how long has this boy been here? Or just... Oh, he has already tabs on the boy. Oh, of course. Yeah, duh. 
because of his stand. The way he said however right there, he's like, however. <laughs> and here comes Jolene, though. <laughs> he's just standing in the doorway and he's like, hey, you. <laughs> he just he just used Star Platinum, didn't he? He just <laughs> Wait, what what I could have sworn there was just a guy in front of me. What the All you heard was like the sound effect. There he is. Which I don't think the boy obviously the boy was trying to help her get out of there, like not come and chase him to help him that's just jolene's uh good nature and what she felt the way he is moving around here this whole system he has down here he's just so familiar he knows what he's doing you gotta worry about yourself jolene what about yourself Oh, oh! He's shooting the 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 lugs off the like the bolts or whatever off the pipe. Yeah, that's crazy <laughs> to be able to undo that to unscrew that. Wow, just from shooting it. That's crazy. So he was already pretty, like, even without his stand, right? He was probably pretty accurate, maybe already. But with the stand, it's like, this man reaches a whole new level. Targeting his heart. Jolene. See, this is where something bad is going to happen, I feel like. It's like a net around it. Oh. The reflection. Did it hit her? Oh, <laughs> barely missed. Barely. Like, by that much. She was thinking ahead. So, like, it, it changed it or altered it by a little bit because she did that? She just kind of took that chance. It worked. Yay. Nice. Dude, the design is just... I'm going to say it so much throughout this series. <laughs> the design is so awesome. Jojo Stone Ocean. He's like, why? <laughs> Why'd you chase me? Why'd you follow me? Yeah, we do need answers about that. Yeah, what's up with this too? I almost forgot about the bone. And the, the, the his voice sounds like it's like fading or something like that, doesn't it? Like the the way the effect that they're putting on his voice, it's it's kind of odd. It's interesting to me too, though. <laughs> Already, I still feel like we're just getting started. Though. Like we're just scratching the surface. Oh. Wait, he's here? Is he here? 
Actually? <laughs> Jotaro's just standing here with his hands in his pockets. Yeah, like how? But it definitely seemed like we just saw him. <laughs> how the hell should I know? I, I swear I just saw him though. All right, I believe you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that the is that the soundtrack from from part three? I think it is. I'm pretty sure that's what that was. Like uh, Jotaro's theme. Oh, the boy dipped. Did Jotaro like not see the boy? She she can only see the boy or something? Is it something that only she can see? Didn't hear the voice or anything either. But he was definitely targeting the boy. He even like we saw him picture him and was targeting him. I mean, maybe it is a ghost. Is this boy already dead somehow? Wait, what? It's healed? What the fuck? And hers is healed too. Wait. Wait, what? Always. What is going on? That is what I'm wondering. What? Is there someone else here playing a part? What? Is this what he was talking about? Is that really shot? It seemed like it. So yeah, is there someone else here? That would probably explain it. <laughs> All this slime or whatever the heck it is. In a dream. So are they still in that room? Or what? Another stand. They are back in the room. What in God's name? <laughs> they are literally drenched. What the? I'm so confused. Yeah, like that still happened. The photo that Jotaro put down, right? Yeah. Right? Just come on, what is going on, dude? Who is this? <laughs> Has to be someone else, right? That 
that was the moment where it clicked. Before then. Stan was an illusion my mind created. All that was an illusion? They lured them into all that? Okay, that's kind of next level then, if they actually set all this up in, in this fashion, because it, it, they sold it so well. He's he said protect you with this and that will come in handy the bone. Oh, so when she gripped it like that, it caused herself to bleed, and that's how she woke up. This is an actual attack. There's more to it than what we thought. Oh no, <laughs> bro. I already know people probably made jokes like this is calm or something. I, I know for a fact, 100%. It's like everyone's literally drenched. I thought maybe it was a different person or another person. Stone free. Yeah, she can't even bring out her stand to be continued. Jeez, I literally started coughing at just the worst time when I was about to start talking about the episode. All this shit happens. But hey, they threw us for a loop, at the, especially towards the end of the episode. Apparently, just from that one point onward, all of that was like an illusion or a dream, which I thought maybe it was another person or a different stand. But I guess this was actually still John Golly, which... Hey, I guess you gotta give props because I mean, what they did here, which was the intention, they they threw us for a loop, and there there was a lot of confusion. So when, like in the illusion, Jotro was starting to say these certain things, that's probably she was squeezing at, at the same time. She was probably squeezing the the rock or the bone, I should say, like harder, and that's what you know she snapped out of it. She started to bleed and all. I was wondering how or when that was gonna come into play too, the bone, because they never really brought it up or it never came up until that point. So, yeah, Jotaro was saying those things like, what are you talking about? I just followed you here, the boy. And then everything, she started to really realize and, and wake up, obviously, uh, to what is going on here. So, really curious to see. I thought maybe we we're going to just be done, deal with this guy in this episode, in the second part here. But that's obviously not the case. That's gonna, It's going to continue on even more so with the with the next episode. And I don't know how far even beyond that, potentially. But, uh yeah, it might just be on Jolene, uh, mostly, with this. Uh, guess we'll have to see what happens. But I really liked what we had with this episode and how they made it all come across and how they made it all seem. It, it definitely uh, felt like that's what was actually going on, what was happening with Jolene. I mean, there were some little odd things with it, but I didn't think it was going to be to that capacity, uh, for sure, until the point with Jotaro, and that's where it all got weird and funky. So, yeah. Really liked what we had with this episode. Really liking what we're having with this part so far. And just uh, even, we've only saw a little amount of stands, but I mean, I like John Golly's stand and how it works. And now we're getting even more with it uh, or just what he can do apparently. So yeah, cool stuff going on. I'm excited, but I'm also like nervous and curious on how this is all going to play. I'm sure we'll deal with them, but it's just, like I said, I think before in the reaction as well, it's like, how, how are we going to deal with them? How are we going to get through this? What's going to happen? Those are a lot of the questions we always ask with JoJo and these certain antagonists, minor antagonists and new stands and whatnot. So it was cool to see Jotaro again in these two episodes. Of course, he's back and seeing Star Platinum. So a lot of cool stuff going on, uh, but we're in quite the predicament right now, to, to say the least. So yeah, let me know what y'all thought of this episode of Stone Ocean. If you guys did enjoy my reaction, make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace out.